I've been following your teachings for a little while and I love them. As far as I can feel, there's no resistance there. I really believe what you're saying. It resonates with me. I feel that there's something special about me, about us, about everything. I wonder if you can guide me towards being a more effective allower. I just feel that my life could be such a beautiful magic carpet ride. I know that my vortex contains so many things that I've created and I get these moments where I just feel it. I know they're there. For example, I'm in the process of looking for a job and I can just taste it. I know that there's something out there that's delicious, that's for me, that's satisfying and fulfilling. But I have a feeling that I understand it better than I am at applying it. And so I was wondering if you can tell me what's tripping me up or if I'm on the right track. Let's talk about it a little bit and you'll feel a shift as we visit here just a little bit. You said some really good things. Everyone really understands and they relate because everyone is reaching for something that is just beyond what they are realizing. So everybody understands that gap that you are describing. First, we want to say to you that if you could think in terms of having already done the choosing life caused you to put what you want in your vortex and source is already on it. And we know those words, they may be hard for you to hear, but nothing could be more accurate. The lining up of circumstances and events for the satisfaction of you. But the next step is the realization of it. And that's the part that you're talking about. You said, help me with my allowing. So here are a series of words that will soothe you and you will feel resonance with this. And then we'll talk about some specific things that you might do to apply them. First and foremost, you're not trying to find that job. You want to prepare your vibrational atmosphere so it can find you. That's really key because when you're looking for something that you can't find, what's your vibrational stance? I can't find it, which means you can't find it because you can't find something that's lost and you can't find something that you can't find. You can't find it, but it isn't that you can't find it. It is, as you said, that you are not allowing it. And the reason that you're not allowing it is because you can't find it. <laughs> so what you want to do is think in terms of, all that you've done you've lived life you've selected carefully you've put things in your vortex you know what you want so you can find the feeling of it you could find the feeling of it even though you can't find the specifics of it so when you take the time to find the feeling of it now you're no longer preventing it from coming it's like this it's like everything that you've asked for and we're not kidding you at all about this this is the way that it is everything that you've asked for is all queued up and the path is being given to you in the form of ideas in the form of thoughts in other words source within you is giving you impulses thinking about you thinking about what you want thinking about the full fruition of what you want so there's a steady stream of path coming to you coming to you coming to you coming to you but so many of you it's like you think you're in a boston rainstorm and there are no rainstorms like boston rainstorms with the wind gusts and the rain you've got your umbrella out there like this against the wind currents of everything you want so even though it's flowing to you it's flowing at you it's flowing to you you've got your umbrella up because you're so wadded up in reality that you are not letting in the improvement the idea so did you feel the improvement in that did you feel the new resonance in that that it's about allowing it to flow to you recognizing that it is flowing to you and preparing yourself your vibrational atmosphere your mood your attitude so that you let in what's flowing to you so that you can be the realizer of it you see as we visit with you talking to you about creation there is a little bit of a learning gap awareness gap visiting with humans who like knock on wood see it hear it smell it taste it touch it manifestations and us who are vibrational experts we know about vibration so we are looking for ways to explain to you how you turn 
thoughts to things. How do you turn vibration into see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it? Well, you don't turn it into it. You tune into it. You tune into the realization of it. Your television is emitting a signal and your tuner receives a signal and the manifestation appears on the screen. It's not different from that. But you want to make your reality different than it is. And so often you don't acknowledge that you are receivers who are practicing frequencies until the signal comes into clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer view. And that's what the feeling of getting on your path is. That's the feeling of stepping onto your path. So the next thing we want to say to you is it's not about finding your path. It's about knowing, understanding that your path is coming right to you. You just want to step on it at the right time. The path's right there. There's a gestation period of all things. Just like when a woman is pregnant, there's a gestation period. You don't want to give birth the day after conception. You don't, <laughs> you want the cooperative components to assemble. And the same thing is true of everything that you're creating. There is a gestation period, but you have control over the length of it by the amount of attention you give to the frequency that you are emitting to your allowing. 